morning, or as we say in Portugal, bom dia. Good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, walking and talking again on the beautiful beach in Portugal, Meia Praia. Yes, some waves, some clouds. So the proof is here, there is a lot of clouds today. Look, it's foggy. It's foggy. You can't even see lagos anymore. So we don't only have sun, but these days are like really, really not happening that often, guys. Talking about the Bitcoin charts, talking about the news, talking about ah, some trading tips and everything else that I normally talk about as well. Let's quickly start because else the video gets too long again. Bam. Let's start with the news for today, guys. The news today that I read was about MetaMask. Probably you all know MetaMask, but MetaMask is this decentralized non-custodial crypto wallet that you can use to connect to all kinds of applications. For example, to trade. I trade with MetaMask and I connect it to Apex Pro. And on Apex Pro, I can uh, trade all my trades in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and any other currency that is available on Apex Pro, guys. So you're trading while you connect your wallet, so your Bitcoins are not on the exchange, but in your wallet. But you can connect MetaMask to Uniswap, to, to NFT platforms, and many other stuff, guys. They now announce that they have the option to convert their currencies into euros, pounds, or dollars, and then send them to your PayPal account, or bank account, or debit card, I think. So, so that means they can now exchange their cryptos on MetaMask into euro, pounds, or dollars, and then send them directly from MetaMask uh, to PayPal or your bank account. So that's a step less than people used to do. And that is exactly what we need to do as a crypto community. We need to reduce the steps for people to take when they go in Bitcoin and go out of Bitcoin. And when that happens, then the real adoption will even grow more steeply. Because sadly for our human beings, we need to keep everything stupid simple because else it's too difficult for them to use. But MetaMask, I need to congrats you. Really cool step that you're now creating an on and off ramp for crypto people out there just beautifully directly from MetaMask. And from the MetaMask news guys, we now jump into a very important trading tip as you are using MetaMask also to, to trade on Apex Pro, for example, uh, the trading tip is always make sure your security is tight, guys. Always use two-factor authentication, always use a hardware wallet. You can even connect your hardware wallet to MetaMask, so then it will become almost impossible for hackers to hack you because you're using MetaMask, but you're using, for example, your ledger in MetaMask, and you have a two-factor authentication set uh, to send your currencies out of these wallets so then it's double 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 secure guys and that is what you all need to do always be secure when it comes to trading even i as a og forgot that a few months ago and i thought trust wallet ah it's safe enough i can store a little bit over there yes and i lost 200k because i didn't pay attention enough so always be aware of security threats it's not only two-factor authentication or using an hardware wallet, it also is not clicking certain links, not clicking certain images. Don't click all those shitty tweets that you see on X that tell you, ah, there is another giveaway, ah, there is another this. It's never a giveaway, it's your giveaway to the hackers. They will drain your wallet. Stop clicking those links, use two-factor authentication, and please set up a hardware wallet, even if you use MetaMask or any other application, guys. That was the trading tip for today, guys. Bam. The first chart of today, guys, is this one. It's a five-day chart. It's the Gaussian channel. On this chart, I've been telling you for the last couple of weeks, please be aware that if we break into that Gaussian channel, we could touch that midline. And that midline is slowly increasing, but it's around 24,650 at the moment. And you can see that that candle before this candle has a huge wick to the upside and a small body on the bottom. This mostly is a bearish wick. This is a wick that is pushing the price downwards. So pushing it towards that midline. And from that midline, it becomes important that we bounce. We need to bounce from the midline back to the top green area and break out again. 
This is very important in the Gaussian channel, guys. And for all those that now say, yeah, but this is a chart that Steve always is using. Yes, that's your right. Steve is also using the Gaussian channel. He's even looking at the weekly on the Gaussian channel, but they are all also using plant these charts and they're all using like uh, the root charts. Like this is not like a competition between YouTubers or like between influencers. We are all in this market to educate you out there. And all of these charts needs to be shared as much as possible because they make it clear to you that you should be buying bitcoins at these levels between 24,600 and 25k. If you don't give a fuck about three, four hundred dollars, then you just buy bitcoin today because it doesn't matter if bitcoin crashes to 24,650 because then you buy a little bit more. And then when we go up, you take a shitload of profits at different levels as well. It's not about who is making the charts, it's about that we share these charts with everyone out there so that everyone is able to understand these charts. Let's jump into the next chart. What a friendly voice, Didi. This is the weekly chart, guys. On every candle at the moment is a week. And you can see in this weekly chart that we are still above that green line. And you can see the dotted green line, that's the prediction where that line will go. And we are also still about that above that dotted white line that was the previous low that white line as long as we stay above that line and that is exactly of the above the price of 24,756 that's lower even than that green midline of the gaussian channel if we stay above that we are not creating a low we are staying higher than that previous low and that is still not too bearish that's still a pretty bullish side because we're creating a higher low and yes we can touch that green line and bounce of it again and try to go up to that red line again and when that green line is going to cross that red line yes that is the moment when you all start to become bullish again and when you all start to shout wow i told you so you should be buying now because that is going to happen they are going to cross again and that's going to have a positive influence on the market now let's jump into the next chart this chart is zooming out big time this shows you the bitcoin price history with the realized price regression the rpr we can see the yellow line that is the bitcoin line we can see the regression line that is the white line and in the bottom we can see the bitcoin price versus the curve now every bear market we are on the bottom of that curve we are looking to the bottom of the chart now just look back in history the bear market there in 2012 we were at the bottom the bear market in 2015-16 we were at the bottom the bear market in 2019-20 we were at the bottom and now the bear market in 2023 we are at that bottom and at the moment we are at the bottom the yellow line is around the realized price regression line and from that moment we start to create a beautiful bull market again and that bull market will make sure that that yellow line will take a distance from that regression line on the top of the chart and that is what we call again then the bull market top a new all-time high and in that moment that we create that bull market top you will see that gray line that is one on the bottom going and creating a peak to the top as well to the levels of 3.0 or even 4.0 in the past that is how bitcoin moves just imagine those people there in 2015-16 when the yellow line was below that gray uh, regression line those me people will all in doubt will bitcoin ever go up and from the beginning of 2015 people started to doubt and then uh, when you look to the beginning of 2017 that is a two-year doubt period that we are, are below the realized price regression line and in that period we slowly increased from 200 dollars again back to thousand us dollar so in the period below that gray line people would already have five times their capital so if they would have invested thousand dollar that would have been five thousand dollar after those two years and yes they were still in doubt and then when that line the airline started to cross that gray line that was the moment when they were out of doubt and they started to buy bitcoin big time to uh, join that beautiful bull run all the way to 20k we are now down below that gray line already for some time for over a year yes there is a possibility we'll stay around that line for some more all the way to the halving and then we'll uh, crawl up slowly guys but there will be a moment we will create that huge bull run pump again so this is the moment you should be buying bitcoin that were all the charts for today guys let's quickly jump into the next part bam i hope you really enjoyed these charts guys uh, the trading tip already was done before now we are gonna jump into some new block uh, this is a travel tip because i was asked this question many times bam 
travel tip for today guys is about insurance healthcare and insurance I need to say people always ask me but if you're traveling so much is it still possible to be insured and how is your healthcare um, arranged and I'm like it's very simple guys the moment you deregister from your country you always have the right to be or stay insured for one or two or three months and from that moment you can take this international insurance guys uh, we always use safety wing safety wing is a digital nomad insurance created by digital nomads for the digital nomads so it's a really cool insurance you can have your health insurance there and they are affordable and, and the biggest advantage of safety wing is it's a monthly subscription so you can always stop the insurance and it's cheaper than your local insurance and it covers exactly the same shit or even more than your normal local insurance so if you want to use safety wing guys uh, use the link down below the video because there is an extra bonus set for you for if you use my link to sign up to safety wing uh, it's a perfect insurance we've been using it now for three years good prices good coverage everything perfectly in place over there if it comes to other insurances like accident insurance and everything of course that's also possible that's just a travel insurance in safety wing there is even some coverage in your traveling as well to check safety wing the link is down below Bam. and before i end the video today guys i want to give you one more little advice and that is kindness does matter if you are kind to other people it will hugely influence your life but also other people's lives kindness matters just be kind try to be kind one full day to everyone out there and you will feel the difference it will have an influence on your life and especially also on other people's lives kindness does matter Bam. and when it comes to the bitcoin price guys yes i'm walking away from the beach um, it's very important for you to always understand that you need to zoom out it's all about zooming out don't freak out about these small price volatilities that you see on the charts at the moment if you're still doubting to buy bitcoin at 25k then probably bitcoin is not the industry you should be in you don't understand that bitcoin 25k is a very low price to buy then please never buy bitcoin because you're gonna lose a shitload of money why because you will be one of those that is not buying at 25k and then we are 30k 35k and 40k and then you're like i now am buying and then we drop from 40k to 30k again then you're selling and then you lost 10k and then from the 30k band the bull run will start and we will go all the way to 100k and you're like fuck that industry fuck bitcoin I, it made me poor <laughs> if you want to be that kind of person then don't buy bitcoin now indeed if you want to be a smart investor then you invest when the blood is on the streets and the blood is on the streets people are screaming for bitcoin to go to 20k and to crash to even 9k this is when people feel pain at the moment they don't believe anymore that bitcoin will go up and that is the moment you need to be smart that is the moment you need to dollar cost average into bitcoin you need to buy bitcoin at 25k levels this is going to be nothing compared to the top of the bull run this is quadrupling your money in one and a half year and if you don't believe that then please don't buy bitcoin that was my last rant about bitcoin damn